Hello boys and girls, uh, this is the second video. Uh, we are talking about the Node-RED and uh, how we can use it for Home Assistant. This video will give you very basic flows and um, um, key thing that you can do with the um, Node-RED and, and basics of, uh, of the interface. So um, if you follow the tutorial on the uh, Smart Home University website, uh, you will have your Node-RED tab here. Uh, pressing on which and entering your credential, you will get this um, window. And um, uh, the window is very, very intuitive and easy to understand. On the left hand side, you would have your notes, which you can drag and drop into your flow. This is the place where you would actually have your own automations and where you will play and move, move them around. Um, here, you would have Info, which is uh, basically when you select any of the nodes, you will get some additional information on uh, on this specific selected node. And um, uh, debug is something that we're going to talk just a, bit, a little bit uh, later uh, in this video. Also very useful to know that uh, you have deploy button. So whatever changes you do in your um, flow, you need to play uh, to press deploy to make sure that it will actually be in the memory of your uh, server and uh, would be would be operational and uh, another very useful couple of very useful um, things that you can do here is uh, this menu specifically this import so uh, uh, in my blog post you will see uh, actual um, uh, actual flows that you can copy into your uh, own instance of the home Home assistance, and I, I will show you how to do that. And uh, let's start. Let's create the first uh, our first flow, and uh, we will not use home assistant nodes for that, but we will just use out of box standard nodes that uh, Node Red provides. Uh, one of the most useful, or you know, I, I use them a lot actually, uh, is the inject node. That I drag and dropped, and then I also use debug node as well quite often for my test purposes. Um, so, what it means so any flow that you will create for Home Assistant will need to have uh, a couple of things. Uh, one of the things is um, the input node. So you you will you will see the node. It would only have the connection on the right hand side and then you would have the output nodes it will have connection on the on the left hand side and then you will have some additional functions functional uh, nodes as well which would have nodes uh, in between so we created this um, um, two nodes we need to connect them with the with the connector um, and uh, as you can see the uh, blue circle meaning that uh, we haven't deployed the changes that we've done so we, we just press uh, deploy excellent and um, what we need to do we just uh, basically seeing uh, when, when i press the d uh, the this button the message the timestamp uh, will be sent to this flow we will basically trigger the flow and uh, and uh, debug node will do nothing but just display whatever messages reaching uh, to to his uh, to his to this connection entrance connection, and let's test it out. So I'm pressing this button, and you can see on the debug. So this is the amount of seconds that uh, uh, we had since the first of January uh, 1970. Here we go. We can we can press it. You can actually see the actual date. I think that's an X and then the number. So that's it. That's very easy. That's the basic, most important thing to understand how the flow works, uh, and it's easy to create. So and uh, let me give you a a little bit more practical example as well of uh, of uh, what to do. Let's create a, a very basic practical uh, home assistant related automation. Um, so we need to scroll down. So obviously you will you will install the uh, palette Home Assistant palette uh, in, in my previous video. Um, but um, uh, what you need to do uh, you need to 
select this output node. Let's put it here. And uh, you need to select the uh, sorry input node, and then you need to select output node. Uh, in my case, that's a call service. This is probably one of the most common um, nodes that uh, you will use as an output. So and this one as well. So this, if you will compare to your YAML file, so this would be a, a trigger um, that will uh, start your initiate your um, automation, and and this is the the action. Um, so we will create very strange automation flow, and um, what it will do whenever there is any change of the state in our binary sensor, I have a motion uh, motion sensor, uh, then it will trigger an action. It will, um, let's say it will, you know, switch on or switch off my, my light that I have. Um, so to configure, you double double click on the on the node that you need to uh, configure. If you will see this uh, triangle, meaning that you need to, it hasn't, the configuration of the node hasn't been finished. Uh, so we double click. Let's uh, let's name it motion motion in uh, study. That's where I am at the moment. Server, we already created the right server that we need. Um, entity ID. This is very useful. So and uh, I know which one I need to use actually. But um, uh, if you not sure which binary sensor that you need to use for your uh, automation. The best you need to do is uh, you go to your home assistant and uh, go to developer tools. Uh, I think that's called state. And then that's where you you can you can have all your binary sensors. And uh, um, I'm interested in uh, this one. Yeah, cabinet cabinet motion. Uh, so it's end with A895. Sensor A, 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 D, D5, sorry, it was D5. Um, okay, configured. Um, let's connect those two nodes and let's. We need to um, configure this one as well. Let's call it on the main. Um, so let's say I want to. I have a a um, smart light in my corridor, so that's why I want to switch. Um, let's say switch on. And uh, this is just normal JSON. Syntaxes. Again, if you want to understand which one you need to use, you go to here. Um, light, light, light. And this is the light that I'm interested in. So I just copy the entity ID. And here. You can you can put additional um, additional properties as well as you can as you can see here, but um, I think that's it for for our purposes. And that's it. So when you press deploy, uh, you can you can you can test it. So I don't know whether you will be able to see that, but uh, let me. I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna wave next to my um, motion sensor. And I can see actually that the lights uh, went uh, switched on, which is good. Um, so yeah, that's your first motion. Very simple. I think you can definitely improve it. Uh, and I just quickly show you ways that you can can improve it, but also well, thing that you can do to test whether your um, automation will work or not. So to do that, uh, we will. The problem with this automation, as you as you probably noticed, that it doesn't matter whether the our binary sensor went from on to off or from off to on, the message will be sent by this node, and it basically just open the uh, will switch on uh, our 
um, light, which is probably doesn't make sense you know, practically. So, and that's why we need some kind of a condition, right? Um, logic to make sure that we understand which what happened uh, with the with the sensor. Um, to do that, we need to use a switch function node. Let's put it here, um, and we will configure it. Um, it is very easy. Uh, so it's basically the uh, the payload message that uh, this node sends as soon as there is any change in the state. Um, we will classify. So the first one we will call on. So that's the first connector. And we'll add another connector off. Um, let, let's save this. And that's where you will now have on and off. Depending of on whether motion the um, there is any motion in you know in my cabinet. Um, uh, depending on that, this node will will decide what to do. Um, another very useful uh, thing that you can do is control control C control V. So control C control V. So you have exactly the same um, action, but you just need to off and then you need to change it to the fact you need to switch off if if this would uh, be the case now what you need to do you need to uh, you know wait till the motion sensor will, will go to off or you can do it yourself or you can you can use the um, testing nodes that uh, a red node offer us which is in inject um, so we will create a new one uh, and let's simulate the message so let's say because I can see that the lights are still on uh, we will emulate the um, message off let's deploy it um, and I'm pressing and actually let's let's see what happens as well right because so so you will see I'm not lying to you um, this is my debug note. What it, what it means, uh, I will see in this window whatever message comes from, from this uh, connector. And I hope it will be off. It should be off. So I'm pressing, oh, sorry, I, I need to, as you can see, there is a um, blue um, circle here, meaning that I need to upload, uh, sorry, deploy uh, my, my changes, which I need to do. And I'm pressing off. You can see off. And I can see that the lights went off as well. Perfect. Works. And, uh, you know, similarly we can, we can change it to on. Deploy. And I can see that the um, my light went on. That's it. And uh, as you can see, we we haven't seen the message here because obviously the the message went this direction. It didn't go to to this now. Um, I think you can do a couple of more things here. I think I will just show you one last last thing because before I, I wrap up. Um, let's say if we. Uh, we want to make sure that, for example, if our lights are already on, we don't need to switch it on. I think it's kind of a little bit uh, far-fetched, but uh, anyway, just to show you guys how it's done, um, you take the current state node and uh, you put it put it here. We need to uh, name it. And then again uh, the same so light and uh, th that's this light and uh, so this is important right what it means what it means if um, the state of this entity is on then the message will be stuck stuck here so as you remember, we the last thing that we've done, we um, sent on message 
to our switch connector, uh, sorry, node, and then uh, we switch it on so I can see that the lights are on actually in my um, study. So um, I need to deploy this. Um, and uh, let's actually move this here. Oop. We will delete this. Um, what do we need to do? So I will press this button now. I need to deploy again. If my logic works, then the message will stop here. So when I will press the trigger, uh, it will go here to this connector. And then it will check whether the lights are already on, which they are. And then it will stop. So it basically, we shouldn't see anything, anything here, right? So let's test it out. Nothing. Uh, and last thing, just to show you how it works. So again, yes, yes, it works. So again, the message went here. It was routed to this connector, uh, which we saw in this one, and it stopped here because the lights are are uh, are on. So that's it. Uh, very simple. Um, on the website, you will actually have that node so you can use um, and the way that you would uh, you would paste into your instance of home assistant is very easy so <clears throat> so you need to go to import clipboard your node press import here we go so you can use whatever I do have on my website and you will have it exactly the same in your um, instance. And obviously you will need probably to um, change it a little bit, but it should be quite easy to learn. Thanks again. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Please subscribe. Please uh, put something in the, in the commentary section. We'd be happy to help. Thank you, guys.